guys um welcome and sorry for this i'm perfect i'm not wearing any makeup because today is a sad day honestly i mean i am wearing black um because today he should be like we should all be wearing black to mourn whatever the fuck happened um technically today my time because it started at like 1 a.m i didn't watch it because i didn't want to give grammys the views because i don't care that much about the grammys obviously i was excited about bts being nominated and i was happy about it um but that happiness went down real quick when i found out that they didn't win that surprised me a little bit because first of all the grammys used bts for almost all the promotions so i was like maybe you know let me have some faith in a like acclaimed show award <laughs> award show uh, because you know there's the other award shows that you can clearly tell that they're rigged um and stuff like that so you know if you know if they use people for views it's you know they're rigged they're already fucked like i don't care but, you know, the Grammys, you always hear so much about the Grammys, you know, there's, um, the Academy is the one that chooses the winner, uh, which I'm gonna talk about how weird that is for a while, <laughs> and the fact that we've all accepted just how weird it is, but, um, and I was like, there's no way there's n they're not gonna let BTS win, because what the fuck, like, they broke records with that, um, so I was like, there's no way, there's no way, they're not gonna do it. Um, but they did it because they don't care. <laughs> but when I saw that, I was actually hurt because I was like all giddy. I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to see who wins. Um, and then they lost. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a huge disclaimer at the beginning before I start the video as well. Um, don't send any hate to Ariana Grande or Lady Gaga. They are the ones that won with their song Green on me. I personally did not like the song. Um, so I was quite surprised to see it win. I, if you want me to be completely honest, I completely forgot that they were even nominated for that. I just saw the little, like, BTS Dynamite and I was like, ah! And then I just didn't read the others. So I'm sorry about that. Um, if I had to choose, I would still choose Dynamite to win because Rain On Me, for me, was not it. <laughs> uh, what I, oh yeah, what I wanted to talk about is, ever since then I've had ever since i received the news i've had some time for reflection just to think how weird the grammys actually are uh i might be getting this wrong and if i am um i'm sorry about that i don't know that much about the grammys nor do i care that much about the grammys um and it's sad that such a like clearly rigged show has become has become so important for artists that they need to you know get the grammy to get some kind of recognition by the way you do not you do not need that the grammys are literally just another like award <laughs> it's fine um what i want to oh yeah what i want to talk about is just, like how weird it is that the winners are based on opinions like i don't know if it's like truly the academy like the people in the academy who choose and like vote for who wins or if it's like a part of that with like the um, uh, the results i guess <laughs> with um like the results from how the song did like the charting and stuff like and the sales and stuff like that or if it's just purely sales um, either way, it's not just purely sales, because BTS had the most sales, I think Dynamite sold over 2 million, um, it's not purely on, um, charts, so we already know that, that, that's crossed off the list, um, then purely opinions, it could be 100%, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised, and just how weird that is, if you think about it, that, um, these artists fade lands upon a bunch of people in a room not in a, you understand what i mean in a room being like oh i like this song it can go <laughs> and i love, love vote for it uh because i've had this theory for a while that doesn't matter how good you are at your job because like supposedly they're music critics um i mean i would guess they're music critics i wouldn't want anybody else to <laughs> be choosing whose song wins um but it doesn't matter how good you are at your job, doesn't matter how good of a music critic you are, you're always going to be biased because you're a person. And that's why I like the shows that, you know, um, based on charting and like the numbers they did. I understand how that's a little unfair as well. 
um, because there are some good songs out there that don't get as much traction so they end up not getting nominated because they base it purely on numbers uh, but I want you to understand how much more worse it is when it's just people choosing who gets nominated and who gets to win because people are are gonna be biased it's what I said um, it's not like sometimes it's very subtle um, how biased people can be it's not like always like black and white like oh this person i like this person but they made a bad song or i like this i don't know this person but they made a good song oh i'll go with a bad song just because i know this person it's not always like that um it can be something like oh there's this artist that i've known for a very long time um i've been as a music critic i've been accompanying them for a while and following their music for a while and they've made a good song um and then there's this artist that i've heard almost nothing about maybe i've heard their n their name here and there uh but i haven't followed i haven't been following their music for a while and they've made a good song who do you think they're going to choose obviously they're going to choose the artist that they know for a while that made a good song because they're both good songs and if you had to you know weigh the scale it's obviously going to weigh a little bit more for the artist that they already know because they already know the artist they already follow their artistry for a while so it's easier to vote for the person that they already know so that's why it's, it's <laughs> at least in my opinion it's quite obvious that it's like uh you know the grammys are basically like a one award show that is giving too much attention to people's opinions <laughs> to random people to random people's opinions uh to not talk about the fact that people just sometimes don't like certain songs like i have songs that i don't like now imagine me being the judge for um even if you're a music critic you still have songs that you don't like i'm sure that they don't like every single song that crosses their path and if they don't that obviously that song is always going to be um punished because a certain person doesn't like their song and that's unfair because that's not how songs work just because i don't like a certain song doesn't mean that it's not a good song, it just means that I, I don't like it. So that's why I think it's unfair that this award show is giving so much attention to people's, to specific, to specific people's opinion. Um, also, uh, at this point, the Grammys are quite known to rob people. Uh, the Weeknd didn't get nominated for some fucking reason. I read it somewhere that he even asked like what was the criteria that they used to choose the nominations and they said they weren't gonna say that why wouldn't you say that i feel like almost every other award show is pretty clear on how they do that um so i don't get it i don't get why so much secrecy i feel like if there's a year for you to choose uh how, where to keep your secrets and to keep the class or whatever for the grammys it shouldn't be the year um, what your views have been declining like please like it's not gonna take a while for you to become irrelevant like if there's a year for you to, ch to tell us what you actually do to choose these things it would be right now right about now right about when you fucked almost half of the industry <laughs> Also, it didn't get nominated as well, even though our album did so well. Like, I don't, I honestly don't get how the fuck. I'm just infuriated today because it was uh, the way the Grammys, which is such like when you think about it, when you think about the Grammys, you're just like, oh, it's so classy, so important. Like, all the artists want to win one, blah, blah, blah. And then you see how dirty and like how cheap they played BTS by making them the center of promotions and then whilst also no. I know, oh my god, whilst also knowing that their award wasn't going to them. Like, these motherfuckers don't care. Amer I was about to say Americans. <laughs> Sorry, but like, my vision of Americans recently, I mean, I know not all people, not all Americans, but some sketchy going over there. Like, I fuck them, honestly. Not all Americans, but I, these people surrounding the show, I don't know how the, uh, how. How, what the fuck is this? I'm so confused by everything, like nothing makes sense. And then obviously people um, being upset. Uh, if, by the way, if you were upset, don't go hate on anybody else. Honestly, make a video like I am, post it on YouTube. I can guarantee you it's way more relieving than going on to the other nominees or winners pages. I'm cold. <laughs> and sending them hate, do not do that. There are also artists who worked hard 
um, for where they are right now. So please don't do that. Don't be dumb. Anyways, <laughs> what was I gonna say? After this, if there's something we can learn, I honestly, I honestly wish at it's at points like this that I wish um, I had some sort of power over big hit that I was like that I could tell them in the face that like, do not send in anything for the next year's Grammys you don't need this bullshit at this point um, you're more than successful in the states you've sold out tours like you don't need this fucking Grammy like believe me when I tell you this like I wish I was there to be like don't send in anything fuck them completely fuck them I want you this is the mentality that we need fuck them don't send anything um, don't get nominated because you don't need it and don't win the Grammy because you're not gonna win them because they don't care about you honestly if they are going to choose BTS um, versus like any other artist that's gonna receive a song that year they're gonna choose that any other artist honestly all Ariana Grande needs to do is push out a song that year and she's going to win they don't need like BTS please look me in the eyes Blink twice if you need help. No, you don't need it. Don't send in anything for the Grammys. Honestly, like you, you have passed that point. You're one of the few artists. You don't need to win a Grammy anymore to have any sort of recognition. You're good. Like you're Gucci. Like you're fine. Please, don't, don't. At this point, don't embarrass yourself by sending in stuff. Don't give Grammys the credit that they don't deserve. Like they're not that special. I know they think they are because of the importance and that we have put on them over the year, over the years. But it's time to stop that because. Honestly, frankly, I never give a shit. I have never once come, a uh, come across an artist and I've been like, oh, your songs are good, but you don't have a Grammy, so I'm not gonna listen to you. That has never happened to anyone ever. Okay, nobody gives a shit if you have a Grammy or not. I mean, in the time, I'm sure it's great to be like, oh, she has a Grammy, but like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. It's just any other word, you don't need it. Honestly, keep doing you. Keep making your songs. Keep doing keep breaking records and you'll be fine you don't need any of this bullshit this xenophobic world doesn't deserve you honestly fuck them i hate them all i hate people i hate how like condescending and bitchy people in such an important industry can be just like how how do you feel okay um, well, not lying, but like tricking so many like young people, young people and old people into watching a show when you already know they're not gonna win shit. I already had very little respect for the Grammys as it was, um, as it is, but right now it's at like minus 10. Um, I am very, I am very honored to say that I didn't give Grammys the views because... <laughs> Fuck you! Um, and you guys should do the same um, next year or any other year. Just stop it. Um, if BTS end up sending in things, which I think they are, which is, which is because I understand the point, because Namjoon said that winning the Grammy was going to be like the end of the American journey. So, like, I want them to win the Grammy and then dip out and never do anything for the Grammys anymore. Like, please, I beg you. Um, and if they do end up going next year, um, just like don't watch it. <laughs> just wait for someone to tell you the results. Did they win? Did they not? And then if they are going to perform, wait for um, like a big hit official channel to post the performance because I refuse. So um, I really shouldn't be filming this when I'm emotional. I literally just stopped crying a while ago. But I want to talk about this because I just saw these things that I didn't talk in the original video so I want to mention it here because oh my fucking god. Um, so first of all I want to talk about the, the, the BTS posted their reaction to them losing um, not winning the Grammy um, and Namjoon literally says I told you so. Like, he, he, he knew, he knew, like, the fact that he knew they weren't gonna win hurt me so much more because that, like, he realizes, he, he's so aware of how shitty, like, these things are. Um, so that upset me and made me cry a lot. Um, and then obviously the, oh, the fucking live, I just started watching it now because I couldn't yesterday, I was busy. 
Um, and Jimin looks so fucking sad. You could tell all of them was like just finished crying. They were so upset, but they were like, "Oh no, it's okay. We still got nominated." And fuck you, honestly, Grammys. Fuck you. I. <laughs> I hate people. I hate human beings so much. Like you couldn't tell that they were so fucking hurt. Um, then obviously we have this badge. Um, you can tell that they grew up not being the favorite child. So now they're doing everything they can to um, call attention to them. This the headline. This how I don't know how like a like a not a, like a journalists are even allowed to write articles like this. Like, dude. This should be like a moment for you to be proud. Like they're the first Korean artists ever to be nominated for a Grammy, and this is the shit that you're going to write. Fuck you. Uh, and then we have an example of what should have happened with this patch, which is um, Esquire's uh, article that reads: BTS's electric performance of Dynamite at the Grammys is proof they're bigger than a trophy. And then, for the Recording Academy's sake, hopefully BTS will be back at the Grammys. But after a performance like what BTS delivered, it's clear that the Grammys need BTS more than BTS needs the Grammys and thank you so much Esquire for you know actually being the only entity with a sense of uh, with common sense in the middle of all this bullshit um I just wanted to say fuck the Grammys if that they met if that um wasn't transparent enough in this video fuck the Grammys fuck everyone involved in that shit um they don't have any self for like a such a good academy quote-unquote they have absolutely zero self-respect. Fuck them. Good night. To watch that shit after the stunt that was pulled on us. Um, I also see a lot of people being like, oh, they deserved it. I mean, I guess you can use that argument for any other artist. Like, oh, Ariana Grande deserved it. Okay, then I think BTS deserved it. So where's this argument going now? Like, how are we going to have a conversation about this? Don't be dumb, okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It wasn't the video that I was planning on making, um, but here we are, another day, another disappointment on the American music industry. So yeah, uh, this video is quite long. It's gonna be, I'm gonna tell you all this like a rant or something. I'm not gonna edit this a lot because there's no point. I'm just gonna, you know, I just wanted to talk. It's been a while since I've done this on the channel, especially when it comes to BTS. I used to do it all the time when like, I was beginning the channel. And it feels good. It sounds good. Feels good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the rant. You can leave your opinions in the comments. Remember, leaving your opinion doesn't involve deliberal deliberately... Is that a word? Hating on all the other people and or or all the winners, specifically Ariana Grande or Lady Gaga, because they were the ones that won on that category. Do not do that. Um, you're not a child anymore. Like it's not gonna do anything. Like what do you think they're gonna do? Do you think you're gonna tell Ariana Grande that her song was bad and that she's gonna be like, oh yeah, you're right, fam, and then gonna give the Grammy to BTS? That's not how it works. Especially since Ariana and Jungkook are like friends. I'm guessing. <laughs> they, you know, took the iconic picture together, you know. Uh, this isn't Ariana's fault or Lady Gaga's fault. Um, blame the Academy. If you want to tell the Academy to go fuck off, I will give you my permission. <laughs> Honestly, tell them. I don't care. I don't care about them. I don't care about those people. If they have in their conscience to bait all these people to watch the show and they already know, no, it, they already knew BTS wasn't gonna win, um, then fuck them, honestly. If you have a, a heart cold enough to do that shit, then I'm sure you can handle a few insults here and there. So yeah. Anyways, um, good night, good day, good morning, whatever you are. Um, if you wanna see more of my videos, subscribe. If you like the video, like the video. And I'll see you guys the next time you decide to watch one of my videos. Bye bye.